In this video, we're going to talk about the texture and types of skin. Now, the method that we're following on these lectures is a method from a very famous palmist called Ellen Goldberg. And Ellen uh, met in, in his early career, Muhammad Ali. When Ellen was a building or a budding palmist, she had the opportunity to read the hand of the then heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. And she was expecting to find that the dominant man of the palm was Mars, as Mars represents the warrior and it is the bravest and most physical of all the types. But the equal strength of the mounds of Mars and Venus was a surprise when she was reading uh, Muhammad Ali's hands. The pride fighter's hands were an unusual combination of hard consistency and fine skin. These made him a strong, masculine, passionate, loyal, and very loving. A more unique mixture of traits came from his very fine textured skin combined with a hand that was hard as rock, a combination of two important basic modifiers. Rock hair firmness is rare and usually is indicative of boundless energy, which is body center and less cerebral. However, the fine textured skin mitigates this. Fine skin softens and refines the nature, brings out the higher aspects of the archetype, and augments the mental aspects of Mars and Venus. Muhammad Ali's hand showed that he was both as strong as steel and refined as silk. As we make our way through these videos, we need to consider each modifier separately and then learn how to blend the information to discover the unique stories that each hand is telling. When you find one of the basic modifiers in an extreme form, as for example, Ellen found in Mohammed Salih's hands, then you become one of ruling forces in the personality of this person. This is true of any of the indications in the hand that are found in the stream. As we will see uh, in this module, basic modifiers help us to identify some of the archetypes of the mounds, allowing us to deepen our understanding of the individual a little bit more and the hands that we're studying. The first modifier that we're going to study is texture of the skin. Now the texture of the skin is one of the first characteristics you will want to become aware of when you read a palm. The skin texture indicates the refinement of the individual. It is one of the most important keys to a person's inner nature. In palm tree, it is said that the finer the skin, the finer the nature. Conversely, when the skin feels coarse, the person's nature will be coarse. Remember, every aspect of the hand is analogous to character. Keeping the skin texture in mind allows you to make the best assessment of which archetypal characteristics will be most prominent. The key to determining the texture of the skin is in your own fingertips. Notice how the skin feels to you when you stroke the back of the hand. Yes, we also have to look at the back of the hand. The finest skin feels like velvet or is the skin of a newborn baby. The coarsest skin feels like sandpaper or is a leather on the bottom of a warm shoe. There are many gradations between these two extremes. We use the back of the hand rather than the palm to determine texture because the palm may be easily colored by manual work. Ditch digging, sailing, gardening, and many other activities, and therefore the palm is not always the best indication of the grade of the skin. The back of the hand is more reliable. 
you will need to touch and stroke the skin of many hands in order to become acquainted with the wide range and variety of textures. Don't be afraid to look at the hands while you're learning palmistry. To become familiar with the basic modifiers, you must look at many hands. Often people feel they know too little to request a look at another person's palm. The solution is to state up front that you're a student of palmistry and you would like to look for certain indications in the hand. When people know that you are a student, they don't expect that you'll tell them everything. However, you can gather a huge group of willing and devoted subjects among friends, family, and co-workers by telling them that you will consistently look at their hands as you progress in your studies. This way you will never lack for subjects, I promise you that. So now we're going to cover three basic grades of skin, fine, coarse, and medium, which is the balance or the in-between of the two extremes. Fine skin feels like the skin of a newborn baby. It is smooth like silk or velvet and often has a slight shine to it. People with fine skin are very sensitive and have a natural refinement. They're also sensitive to their environments and to the feelings of other people. Each of the seven archetypes is elevated by fine skin. Fine skin brings out the best attributes of the archetype and often makes the difference in classifying someone as belonging to a higher or lower type. It softens or removes any coarse elements found in the archetype. For example, a person with a large amount of Venus and fine skin will be loving, sympathetic, graceful, and interested in all things that lift the heart and senses. They like flowers and music and poetry. They are highly sentimental. The passion for which Venus is known is present, but it finds expression in a refined manner. Conversely, a prominent amount of Venus with coarse skin indicates a person who cares little for the finer things of life. Most of this person's energy will go into satisfying his passions and not in particularly discriminating manner. Both streams of Venus love pleasure, but there is a wide difference in how they fulfill that drive. We will find examples of these streams in every archetype. A Mars archetype, the warrior, is not expected to be refined. We think of Mars types as fighters, brave, strong, and often brash. So we find skin on Mars type, the warrior will be unusually gallant and sensitive in the use of his or her force. A refined Mars type can mix with every stata or strata of society. Unlike a Mars type with coarse skin, who is too rough and unrefined. A lower Mars type will find little pleasure in the things that please people with very fine skin. Now let's move to coarse skin or coarse and rough skin as you have in the, in the right hand picture. Coarse skin feels rough and is often tough and thick. It can feel like unfinished leather, light gray sandpaper, or the bottom of a well-scuffed shoe. Perhaps this is where the expression thick skin originated. These people will be emotionally thick skin. The skin cells are large and you can see really well on the back of the hand this. This is in stark contrast to seamless fine textured skin where these cells are not easily visible. The texture coarsens all the qualities found in the hand and lowers the sensitivity of the person. So there is definitely a lack of refinement and the person is apt to be a lower type. If it is an Apollonian type, known for the creativity, good taste and love of color, for example, so will have coarse skin, then their good taste goes out of the window. Coarse skin produces Apollonians with flashy taste and garish use of color. Do not be deceived by a person's station in life. Affluent people with coarse skin will still have rough edges and unrefined taste 
and tend toward characteristics at the lower end of the spectrum. People with coarse skin are often bound to the material world of money, senses, and physical pleasures. A person with coarse textured skin could be cruel or heartless. This is not always so, but it is more likely the case when it goes together by other indications, such as, for example, a poor development of the Mount of Venus, a cold straight hard line, or a hard consistency to the palm that feels like stone. People with coarse skin will also not be sensitive about their own or other people's feelings. Whatever characteristics you find in the hand, coarse skin will bring them to a lower crude expression. Both fine and coarse skin textures are extremes something out of the ordinary. Because they are out of the ordinary, each of these textures plays a significant role in defining the character of your subject. What we will most mostly find in most people is the skin of medium texture. Let's talk about medium skin. Medium skin is neither too fine nor too coarse. Among the people you know, approximately 75% will have medium texture. This texture is an excellent indication because it is a balance between the two extremes. Medium skin people will be sensitive but not overly so, and they can be both refined and earthy. The medium texture does not determine the uniqueness of the, of the individual in a way that fine skin or coarse skin might. It will show a possibility of both height and low characteristics. Exactly how a person with medium texture skin expresses finer or coarser qualities of an archetype will be shown by other indications in the hand, but not by the skin texture. In the next video, we will be talking about the flexibility of the hand which is another one of the attributes that we're going to study in this model. I hope that you're enjoying these videos.